could this be the first physical piece of wreckage from the missing plane MH370? It looks like a small part of the back edge of a wing. It's damaged but largely intact. There are barnacles all over it. For the families, it's an agonizing discovery. Yakita's husband was a flight attendant on the plane. On the one hand, she says she hopes for some definite news and for closure, but... The other part is that no, let it not be true, because then we can still have hope that, you know, there's a chance that the plane is still out there and then they all can come home. In the southern Indian Ocean, the search for any trace of the plane beneath the waves goes on. There have been so many false leads before, but this news is being treated with cautious optimism. This is obviously uh, a very significant development. It's the first uh, real evidence that there is a possibility that a part of the aircraft may have been found. Uh, it's too early to make that judgment, uh, but clearly we are treating this as a, as, a, as a major lead. The Malaysian Prime Minister says the part is very likely from a Boeing 777, but he says it's too early to say whether it's from MH370. It's being taken to Toulouse for further examination by French air investigators. But is it plausible that wreckage from a plane that's believed to have gone down off the southwestern coast of Australia would be found thousands of miles away on the other side of the ocean? Finding this piece of debris uh, in Reunion Island is entirely consistent with the current patterns in the southern Indian Ocean to being originated from the area that they're doing the current search for the wreckage at the bottom of the ocean. It's been confirmed there are markings on the piece of debris that should aid identification. In aviation, every single part of an aeroplane, all the millions of pieces, have a serial number. You can track it back to the day it was manufactured. Um, and so, yes, there will be markings on that. Well, that'll tell Boeing, uh, yes, it's from a 777, and yes, it's from MH370. This small piece of debris will now be examined in the minutest detail. Aviation investigators will want to be absolutely sure before they say whether it does belong to MH370. The Malaysians have said that process could take up to two days. Andy Moore, BBC News.